Hello everyone, Andre here from Envoy Foundation exposing some next level animal cruelty in the Queensland Shark Control Program or the Queensland Shark Culling Program depending whether you like the government terminology or the accurate terminology. So I'm not going to show that entire video because it's really graphic and I really don't want this to get removed so people can be aware of what's going on. In this video, the beginning, you see them, they have the tiger shark um, tied to the side of the boat. This is in Queensland. It's part of their shark control program, which basically just means shark removing program. So they're doing things to basically unalive the sharks in the area. This is about a 90 second clip that you can watch the full version of. Look it up yourself and you'll be able to see the whole thing. So basically in the beginning of the video, these fishermen who are set out by the Queensland government catch the shark and they're basically just taking a knife and trying to unalive it in the head there. You can see it just jutting into the top of the shark's head. And they're doing this for a really long time and it actually is not effective. You can see the tiger shark moving around the entire time. And so they end up turning it over. They flip the shark over belly side up and they just start cutting into the stomach of the shark. They keep cutting and they basically make an enormous hole and one of the guys, this guy here, he actually starts taking pieces of the shark and saving them in his little bin here. Very messed up. This is something that is happening right now, but is unfortunately not a new thing. The Queensland Shark Control Program has been going on since 1962. And the idea behind the entire program is basically the fewer sharks there are, the less likely people are to be attacked. But it's a really, really archaic way of thinking when it comes to an ecological system, and there's no evidence that actually shows that things like this can even work to protect humans. This statistic shows that over 14,000 sharks have been unalived by this program. But it's not just sharks. Unfortunately, there are quite a few other species that are affected by this program, such as sea turtles and other marine mammals. That's over almost 1,500 other animals that aren't sharks at all and are not threatening to humans. And even the word threatening to humans is, it's so frustrating because of course it is so sad when things happen and it is so unfortunate when a shark does bite somebody and ends up unaliving them. But it is so, so rare compared to other things that you do every single day. From 1580, 682 shark attacks unalived more than 155 people in Australia compared to, for example, the amount of people that are unalived by motor vehicles. Almost basically an average of a thousand a year, a thousand or more every single year from motor vehicles. That's just one quick example, but it just shows how the thinking behind all of this is so archaic and just behind the times. And it's not just the specific boats going out and targeting sharks. There are shark nets that are placed, which will basically be hung along beaches and um, will stop some sharks from entering the area. And this is so sad. This, I think, is a scalloped hammerhead. I can't 100% say, but they're critically endangered, both ha scalloped hammerheads and great hammerheads. And hammerhead sharks are not a threat to people. They're not a species that is typically known to bite humans or mistake humans as prey because they eat benthic things like stingrays and stuff that's hanging along the seafloor. They're not going after something larger and huge splashing at the surface like a human. And so many of these sharks are so small in size as well. Again, not a type of animal that would be targeting a human or accidentally mistaking a human as their normal prey. And again, not just sharks. So many other animals get entangled. This is a whale entangled in one of the nets that you can see. You can see the buoys and the net below the surface. It's not exclusive. It catches and they can entangle many different species. And the whole program just has a horrible design that does not show efficacy towards minimizing shark attacks on people. And then the, this just to close everything out. This is the boat that caught that shark that they basically cut down the middle of its stomach and let, dropped it back in the ocean, just not even actually fully unalive, just let it go. But you can see all of that in the water. What is that gonna do? This is basically acting just like chum. And where is it right next to? This is a beach. You can see all these people along the beach. So the sound of this thrashing shark and all of this in the water is going to attract other large, large predatory sharks that would feed on another shark like a large tiger shark into this specific area where there are a ton of people. It's just insane. It literally just blows my mind. And specifically for Australia that relies so heavily on ecotourism on their oceans just for their economy alone, it just blows my mind that that is something that is happening still today from the 1960s and that they think that it actually works. So if this enrages you as much as it enrages me, 
There is a petition that you can sign where you can contribute and at least voice your concerns about how insane this is. It is going to be in my bio for anyone that is interested in participating and wants to sign this petition to stop this barbaric and archaic method that I can't, there's no other words that I can say. Thank you guys for caring about sharks.